No, he was older. He was 25 years older than her. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And, right. uh, he's, and he's, Port, he's Puerto Rican. Um, when I say Puerto Rican, he's like straight from the island. You know what I mean? It's, you know, it's not like a New York Rican or anything like that. Okay. So she married him when she was like 23, you know, and she's on Kevin Samuel's show talking about how she wants to, she let her high value boyfriend get away. Um, not get away, but she wants to get back with him and she's trying to figure out what she needs to do. So me personally, she sent me the video and I'm watching it and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with her? But she basically married this guy and doesn't want to be with him at the end of the day. She wants to be with another guy and got in front of all these people to say this. So by far, and I interviewed her after that. I did, I did an interview with her just to get her take on the whole thing, which is on my page as well. But personally, not just because I know her, but personally, I think that has to be the worst one based off her being married and coming on a show where hundreds of thousands of people are watching and to say that she wants to be with another man instead of her husband. Well, I automatically think she's still sleeping with her ex-boyfriend if you want to be with him. That's, that's what I automatically think. But because if he's really not there, if he's absent, it's going, that's going to fade. So I'm already assuming he's still, he's still banging her. Yeah. If he's in this state, according to her, he's in another state, but that's, that's, that's just what she's saying. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Who knows? But according to her, based off the, me interviewing her, he's in a completely different state. Yeah. So, but yeah, obviously he can get it anytime he wants you know, in that case. But yeah. So these girls come on and they talk about, Here's another thing that blows me away. I am of the opinion that women just talk and, and they don't really mean much. Uh, they talk. And the reason why they talk is to bond. That's how they bond with each other. Yeah. Of course. And I don't think the, the content means much to them. You know, so, like, so like my wife could be downstairs with one of her girlfriends and they could drink wine and just talk. Yeah. Three hours of the morning, and it can yeah. make no sense whatsoever, right? And I know my own wife's beliefs, and then she will actually just agree with her girlfriend that goes against her actual beliefs, right? Just to wow. have a conversation, right? This wow. is, but this is not on. I don't think this is uncommon. I think this is very, you know, very, very common, or vice versa. You know, my wife will say something, and girlfriend will talk about it. So. I'll give you a quick example. I was always very much into fitness and bodybuilding and so on and so forth. And I used to compete in bodybuilding. I no longer do. And I'm in the kitchen and I'm, you know, doing my thing. And one of her girlfriends are over and this girlfriend girl happens to be overweight. She's talking about how she wants to lose weight. She has to do this. And I tried that diet. Didn't work. I tried that diet. Didn't work. I tried that diet. Didn't work. So on and so forth. So I turned to her and I said, if you really want help, you know, let me know. I'll help you. You know, it's not, it's not difficult. So then all of a sudden she got quiet, right? Like, cause now it got real. And she's like, I said, you know, so, you know, tell me what you're eating. Right. But she just wanted to talk with, with my wife. She didn't really want to help. She just wanted to talk. Yeah. So when these girls come on, Kevin Samuels, fresh and fit, so on and so forth. It is my opinion that they're, that they're just talking they don't communicate like men do. Like, in, 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 we communicate, the content has to be there. It has to be content and it has to be accurate, right? And, yeah. and I think it's, our bonding would be something completely different. It would be like, you know, building a car together or working together or going hunting together or something like that. So when I hear these girls talk about, I want a man that's six foot tall and makes six figures and has a six pack and is handsome and so on and so forth and treats me like a, you know, a treasure that she, then what happened the majority of time I see girls dating down actually. And I don't, I don't mean down in as far as how much money they make. I'm talking down in they're a lot, not as good looking as them. Yes. Down in, um, they don't understand female nature. So they easily manipulated or easily controlled. Uh, I see that I see that more often than a woman dating the guy who has a lot of money or going after that guy. Yeah. So what, what's your take on it? Man, you're spot on on what you're saying, man. I think 
So to what you first started talking about, I call that I think women women in general, in my opinion, need attention. So the quickest way to get attention, regardless of, and I've said this on several of the reaction videos I did, you're going on Kevin Samuel's show, it's like you're a special guest on a talk show That's at the end of the day. It's like you're going on Oprah or anything like that. You don't have to travel or anything. You can sit there and have hundreds of thousands of people see you and you really don't care what's coming like you said you really don't care what's coming out of your mouth you're just saying stuff regardless of how it sounds but you're getting that you're getting that 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 itch is being 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 fed it's being handled and kevin is providing it and these women as i said they'll wait hours like they'll wait hours to get on you'll see them in the queue while he's talking to other women they're just sitting there like it's like you see me in the square or in the box right here however you got it set up yeah. they'll just be sitting there like yeah yeah i've seen that you don't have a man in your life that you're sitting here waiting to talk to kevin samuels to get your hit of attention that somebody's paying you attention on a grand scale and i think that a freak for attention and i've said this for years a freak for attention has no moral compass so if these women are married, if they're with another guy, whatever's going on, if you're willing to do this and wait, you're willing to wait hours to get on this man's show just for a little bit of limelight and for people to see you. Because every time they're on there, they're like doing their hair or they're looking yes. up, they're looking at themselves on a TV screen and they're just like, you know, doing this, the hand watching thing. Watching the comments. Yeah, watching the comments. So... I don't, it doesn't matter what race women women like attention you know it doesn't matter what race you are they like attention mm -hmm. so i think that that is paramount in this whole situation and kevin provides that service that's why so many women will keep coming on and other people are like well why are these women coming on to embarrass themselves they don't care if they're embarrassing themselves they're getting that hit that's right it's that hit. they're getting that hit that drug that attention they're, they're on a, they're, they feel like a special guest on a talk show that's right I, so I think that's what's happening in terms of that i forgot the other part that you said because um you, know, you asked something else in terms of that but i think that first part that you asked that's why they're doing that they don't care about embarrassing themselves no I agree. Case. i agree totally i i have two more questions because i know it's getting late and then I'm, i'll let you go no no worries i'll i'll ask the, the first question first and then because the other one's kind of more fun sure when i watch kevin samuels or even when i watch your show you concentrate mostly on black women and that's fine because you're obviously black right there there seems to be this mm, this common thought it up, man. You got it, you got it. i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying to put the words <laughs> together there seems to be this common thought again uh, uh with uh the black community that White girls are a lot more submissive, they're nicer, and so on and so forth. And you, you, a lot of times a successful black man will go rather, rather go after a white girl or a girl that is uh, not uh, black because of how quickly a black girl will emasculate right. another black man. Now, right. I'm, I grew up in, in, in Brooklyn, and then I moved to Staten Island, and now I'm in Jersey. That doesn't that doesn't apply to Italian girls from Brooklyn or the worst, the absolute worst are Eastern European, Russian, Albanian, Chechen, yeah. Ukrainian. They are the they are the you know as far as uh, oh my god! Like if I talk to a girl, even being married now, and I hear that Eastern European accent, I just walk away. I go, oh, yeah. god. you know, even like it's like okay, like. Even if I go into a store and I'm shopping and I need help and I hear that accent, I go, oh, God, here we go. You know, it's just because their, their, their reputation is so, it's, it's out of control. Yeah. My opinion is that they just take different steps, but they want the same thing. Like a black girl will emasculate you immediately. Whereas a white, a white girl won't emasculate you immediately, but she will condition you to think that after some time that she is the best thing. They will hurt you more in the back end, if you will, after some time, if that makes sense. 
Yo, you funny, man, because I, I, the way you said that, that's funny. Is that I've heard that. I don't, I, me personally, and I've said this on a lot of my videos, I don't have a lot of experience with white women, so I, I really can't speak on that, but I've heard yeah. what you just said, which I is did. funny. I did yeah. a video, actually, and the video was the difference between black girls and white girls in under 10 minutes, and I made an example, and the example I did was, let's say you're going into a store and you have to return a shirt, right? And yeah. You got to return a shirt because it's ripped or something like that, right? Right. And your girlfriend or your wife is black, and you go, you know, excuse me, you know, I have to return the shirt. I see that there is, you know, a hole in it and I didn't realize it or whatever. And then they, the manager will be like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't take returns or so on and so forth. They have to right. If your girlfriend is a black girl, she will literally just emasculate you right there and push her out of the way, push you out of the way and take over the conversation. And then just start just bringing heat down on this, on this guy, right? As if you can't handle the situation yourself, right? Just yeah. extra. Matter of fact, uh, the great uh, comedian Patrice O'Neill did a whole thing. Like, if you need your money back, you gotta get yourself a black girl. And he did this whole thing about how he needed a new phone and he couldn't get a new phone. And his girlfriend came back with five phones, and he didn't have, she didn't have to. He didn't have to pay the bill anymore. Yeah. Whereas a white girl will sit there and take it, and then when you get in the car, she goes, "I don't know why." they didn't take that shirt back. It really should have been a little bit more forceful. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have went about it that way. Next time you do that, you need to do A, B, and C. And then you're just like, well, I just, you know, I just he said that you couldn't return it after 30 days. It's really it's it's way out for 30 days. Well that doesn't mean anything. And then they give you some ridiculous example. My girlfriend so and so had this shirt and she and it's just like and you're listening to this. And then what it is, it's kind of like it's almost like they're chipping at you like a sand on a beach after so much time. You know? yeah. And then even the great comedian uh, Bill Burr said, after 10 years, 15 years of marriage, you're like this guy, like on this little island, just floating because she destroyed all the beach, beach area, nah. you know? Um, so I just want to know what your, your take is on it. Man, and in, in, in terms of that, man, like, I, I can agree with that to a certain point. Because basically what you're saying is like this, there's a fear, and I definitely know this. There's a fear of the black woman. Once she raises her voice, um, she tends to get attention. You know what I mean? Unlike, uh, and like I said, I don't have experience, but unlike a white woman, we know in this world, no matter what race, color, ethnicity, when a black woman raises her voice, because it's, it's almost expected to that point. You know, when she raises her voice, she gets attention. Uh, she, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as saying commanding the location she's at, but she definitely gets attention, and people do pay attention when she raises her voice in that matter, in that manner. But I think uh, with that is like almost like a defense mechanism in terms of the way she speaks um, to get to get things across. White women are a little bit more meek in terms of that. I think they're a little more subtle in the things that they say. But it's it's just it's just that thing about a black woman when she talks. It's almost as if, you know, almost as if an oppression thing and when I what I say is basically gonna count. And it's just almost like a commanding part of it. And a guy a guy can sit back and not say anything at all, but if the woman really loves you, she's going to say something and everybody's going to listen. And I think that that's, that's, that's crazy when I think about it, no matter what the age. It's like it's automatically, this is attributed to a black woman when she comes in. Same thing when a black man comes into a room, you know, it's almost, it's, and I, I hate that things are like that. It's almost as if there's tension. You know what I mean? There's tension. Uh, it's unspoken a lot of times, but there is tension there. Even if he's not even, you know, intending to do that. And I know I'm switching switching things right here. Right. But like me, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm half black. My father's white. Mm -hmm. I'm not fully black, but based off the way I look and how I talk, you know, I'm considered black. So I notice when I walk in certain places or when, even when I walk down the street, my energy precedes me. 
you know, and people will, you know, conduct themselves in a certain way. But I have to soften that based off the business that I'm in. Um, like I said, I'm a realtor, which you definitely have to be like uh, a nice guy and put on a smile. Right, right, um, right. And you see me smiling in my videos all the time, but that's not me in real life. I got you. you know what I mean, I, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the ice I have, cube effect. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm happy. Like people, if you don't know, if you know me, like that dude don't look like that. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah. Smile like that. But on video, on 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 camera, you're like this guy's a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? He's always smiling, so on and so forth. But to go back to what you're saying, I just feel like. It is almost the way you're raised is with a chip on your shoulder. I think that's the way that's how it is. And it's it's unfortunate that it's that way. And I think that that affects us in terms of our community, the way the woman is. And that's one of the biggest that's one of the things that Kevin talks about. That's one of the things that we talk about in the mental sphere. Because and it's it doesn't matter because I know that I know you guys I, I heard Italian women are very feisty. They talk back. They don't take shit. In my, from what I've heard, yeah, um, especially the newer generations. Out of the older yeah. generations, not so much, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, more modest with the older generation, so on and so forth. But I, I hear the newer generation, you know, are will will put you in your place. Yeah. You know, they're not taking shit, so on and so forth, which is understandable um, in terms of how they raised. But I just think a lot of things. This country, our, our country, as great as it is, it has created like this amalgam amalgamation of cultures and you know independence and for men, no matter what culture you, you try to maintain, we as black people we don't have a culture. Just plain and simple. As Italian, I think that's great that you guys have morals and principles you know the whole omerta thing um it's all used to be though dude it's all you yeah to. yeah but what i'm saying is yeah. you you when you when you know that your family is italian and you can't say well my great grandfather was italian some bullshit like that when you know your family's italian you you have a link to your culture but when you're black you're in country, yes. okay. when you're black in this country there's nothing that you can relate. Is not my my father is uh, white. His my his ancestors are from the UK, and um I can I, I narrowed it back to the to Britain, but he probably didn't even know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The exact place. My mother is black, and she is a descendant of slaves. So we don't really have a culture. So the culture that we do have is based upon what happened in the '60s. So you have to look at, and I, I, I'm not trying to make this into a political thing, but I think the way you, you, you're raising children that, that are from single mothers and the single mothers don't really know because there's no man in the house, so they're just trying to teach the best that they can, and there's no respect for a man. Like 100%. Overall, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't have a respect for a man and you... you the only time that you 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 have anything in common is when you spread your legs. Mm -hmm. There's an issue there, man, and I oh, think that that's, that's our biggest problem. We don't have a culture. We don't have any morals and principles established. Unlike for your, for yourself, example, an Italian or uh, someone from Spain or Eastern Europe, they 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 establish these things. But like I said, America is a whole different animal, man. Right? No, I, I couldn't agree. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. And um, it, that's happening in a white community in the last couple of generations too, in the Italian community and so on and so forth because the new generation of women are not respecting men either. Because right. They're raised with the same attitude. I don't need no man. I got my own money. I got my own education. Even though they have the ability to do it, the majority of them don't. So they just have this propaganda going on in their head. Yeah. They say it all the time. And what's really saving them is child support, alimony, you know, their parents. I've seen that too. Uh, you know, I've seen, I've seen, you know, I've seen, you know, white girls say that they're uh, independent and they live with their parents and they yeah. with their kids. So basically their children are being raised by their parents yeah. while she's going to work 
and not even like trying to create a better life, going to work and then going out on the clubs that uh, on the weekend. Same thing is happening. So that and also it, what's happening too is even if the girl is getting married, she's marrying a weak man. So yes. so there's still no respect because how can you respect a weak man? If you okay. grew up, if you grew up seeing your mother yelling and screaming at your father and he's just taking it, you, you know, she's getting beaten, you know, verbally, he, he's never, he's you're never going, to going to not respect men and you're not going to respect men, men in general, you're not going to respect the police or figures of authority, teachers, so on and so forth, because that's what you grew up around. So the same thing is happening. It's just, which is a little bit behind, if you will, but it's, it's, yes. it's, it's happening. I see it all the time. Quick, quick story. I was dating a girl years ago, and she had was married. She had a child. She they got divorced. She gave up custody to his parents. So she lived in New York by herself. His his parents, her ex in laws, were in Florida. She gave her, her one son. That did. she only saw him on holidays and 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 birthdays when she flew down there. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it was him and his his parents raising them after they got divorced. And I'm pretty sure that she filed. And then years later, she got pregnant again with, with, I don't know, somebody we don't know. And then she moved in with her mother and her mother's helping her raise the second child. But if you talk to her, she talks like she is the mother of the year. And she actually, she actually put this on Instagram. She actually said on Father's Day, happy Father's Day to the mothers who are fathers too. And I was like, I can't believe this because I know this girl and I actually put in the comment section, what about the grandparents? Because, <laughs> I, you know, and it was just, and it, but, but that comment was as if that didn't apply to her. And I'm like, yeah. shit. like you literally gave up your firstborn. And this is an Italian girl. She, I knew her from Brooklyn. She was from uh, Bensonhurst, which is, uh, was an Italian part of Brooklyn. Yeah, I, yeah, I was going to say Bensonhurst earlier. When you were talking, I was going to yeah. be like, was it Bensonhurst? Yeah. Yeah. So one more question, but this is more of a fun question. Um, this is more of a fun question for the life of me i can't figure this out my wife tried to explain it to me but i still don't get it so sure. every, every time fresh and fit throw a woman out well let, let, let me rephrase it when fresh and fit throw a, a guy out the guy goes gets up and leaves right like i forget there was one guy that was really fucked up he was high or drunk and he was babbling wow. i know i know what you're talking about and they yeah. told him you gotta leave he just got up and left like all right if i'm not wanted here i'm leaving which would be my attitude which i'm assuming would be your attitude yeah. Every time they try to throw a girl out, it turns into World War Three, and I don't understand that. Why do you want to be somewhere where they are asking you to leave? Why are you giving it them such a hard time? It blows me away. My wife said he's making a statement that you can't make me leave. Yeah. Now, what what is your take on it? Because that just baffles me. Man, I think it's like now the way like once again it's freedom. Once again, it's freedom. Mm-hmm. I think when you do that. Women take it as a personal challenge that I'm going to defy you. I don't care what it takes. You're not going to kick me out of here. I'm going to go on my own accord. You, you hear the women saying that. I'm not getting out of here. I'm going to go on my own accord. You, who do you think you are? And they really take it as a personal challenge. I will leave when I'm ready. Same thing if you were trying to kick a woman out of your house. It's almost yeah. as if, you know, I'm not, it's, it's like their pride. It's tired to, but as a man, you're like, man, fuck it, shit. I'm getting, the, man, fuck you. I'm getting up out of here. That's right. But a woman, a woman has to feel like she's, if she's getting kicked out, she's lost control. You know what I'm saying? And women, certain women, not a lot of women, have to feel like they're in control, man, of the situation. If I'm not in control, and you're telling me what to do, you're basically putting me in a a point where I'm less, I'm less than you, and I'm being kicked to the curb. Even though you just get your fucking ass out of there, I'm not. I'm not leaving, and you want to get defiant and belligerent like these girls do. But I think they just take it as a personal challenge based upon the, you know, how they're raised. And I'm not. I'm not getting out of here. I'm. I'm going to stay, and I'm going to prove a point. Regardless, if you know this man is so much bigger than you, and beat the fuck out of you, yeah. and beat your ass. But it's free. If things were like sixty years ago, seventy years ago, you wouldn't see that. No. And I, I say that all the time. You don't see when a man, if a man raised his voice, you're not going to sit there. You're going to get the fuck out of there as a woman. Yeah, but it's, I, I, uh, I agree. You know. I totally agree. Listen, Jr. 
I really appreciate you coming on, man. I mean, I could talk about this for hours, but I'm going to... Absolutely, man. I can cut it. I'm going to cut it off. Maybe we'll do it again because I could talk about this for hours. Because I was about to just jump into why do you think women get more physical now than ever? Because they, 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 they get physical quicker now than ever. Absolutely. But I won't, right. we'll save that for another time. But let, do you want to plug anything? I'm going to put your YouTube channel underneath my description. Not that I have as many followers as you or subscribers as you, but... Nah, you good, bro. You want to plug anything? Hey, man. Hey, yo, I appreciate you for having me on, man. Y'all know, know where to find me, JR Wisdom. You know, just, just look me up on YouTube. Hey, just it's just as simple as that, man. Anytime you probably punch in Kevin Samuel, you see, you'll probably see my name come up based upon that, man. You know, but that's, that's just how... You. Yeah, yeah, that's how, you know, most people find me, man, but... I got other content, man, but yeah, JR Wisdom, I'm on there, and everything else is on my on my on my channel, man. You can get all the links on there as well, for okay. sure. JR, thank you very much, and have a great night, man. Hey, man, likewise.